Bangs, 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 that's a check, talking. Take all your pants, 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 bitch, ain't no time for talking. Why me do my dance, 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 pants in my pocket? Hi guys, we're just gonna jump right into this tutorial. First, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in the number 12 and just shape my eyebrows into shape with my spoolie at the end. And then we're going to take my LA Colors brow pencil in the color brown and just start filling in my eyebrows. Okay, here I'm going to take my LA Girl Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze and I'm going to clean underneath and on top of my brow just to take out any mistakes. Here I'm going to take my Makeup Academy Professional Concealer Brush and just blend out the concealer that I have on top and underneath my brow. Now, blending your eyebrows is very important because when you go outside, you do not want to be looking crazy. Because I've seen some females where like, they don't even, I feel like they haven't even heard the word blend. So like, just blend your eyebrows and keep them blended because Blending is key. Okay y'all, right here I noticed I have way too much concealer on, so I just grabbed a random bandana and sprayed it with water. Only three reasons why I did this is one, I'm not doing a full face of makeup, so I'd rather just use the concealer as foundation. And two, I don't like pretty much like really having a lot of makeup on my face. And three, I don't have makeup right Okay, I was looking all around and I was like, hold on, I don't have makeup wipes. So this is like sort of a beauty hack I have, I guess. Right here, I'm going back in with my brow pencil and just filling any gaps in there and then I'm cleaning any other access of concealer that I see there too. And then on my other brow, I'm just gonna clean any access on concealers that as well. Okay, right here, I'm going to take my concealer and just put that under my eyes and just try to hide those bags that I have under my eyes. I'm always carrying these big ass bags 
and then shortly after I'm going to take my LA girl orange color corrector and just put that under my eyes as well because that hides dark circles and I guess sort of bags that you guys or anybody has and I'm just gonna put that okay right here I'm going to take my orange dirty beauty blender and blend that concealer all over my face and on my eyelid because let's remember that I said I want to use the concealer as a foundation because I'm not doing a full face and then afterwards we're just gonna keep blending and then shortly after I'm going to use my NYX shine killer it eliminates the look of excess oil and shine and just leaving my skin looking like matte and fresh all day okay right here i'm going to take my pink also dirty beauty blender i need to clean my beauty blender but and then i'm going to put on my laura mercier translucent loose setting powder in the medium deep and then I also put that on my eyelids because I'm putting concealer on my eyelids as well. And then afterwards, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild palette. And then I'm going to use the lightest brown shade that I have and just blend that in. Okay, right here I'm going in with the Blush Nudes palette by Maybelline New York. And I'm going to take this rose gold sort of shimmery color and put that on my eyelid. And blend it with the brown that I had from the Wet n Wild palette and just keep blending. Right here I am taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer Brush in the color Toffee. And then shortly after I put that on my eyelid, I am taking my makeup academy professional concealer brush and just blending that out I'm taking my highlighter palette from Wet n Wild, it's called Golden Light, and I'm going to take that and put that on my eyelid because I do like the color that it has and especially the pigmentation that it also has. And then I'm just going to take my concealer brush and spray setting spray on it and just put it right on. Here I'm taking my powder brush from Wet n Wild and I'm going to be brushing off all the setting powder that I put underneath my eyes and then shortly after off camera I'm going to put on my lashes from Kiss Couture. I got these at Walgreens and here they are. I'm just using my spoolie brush just to even them out.
also right here I'm taking NYX Wonder Stick and I'm using the contour side just to contour my cheekbones, my jawline, and my ginormous forehead. But that's all I'm going to contour. I'm not going to go fully, fully in with the contour because usually I would contour my nose if I was doing a full face. But that's not what we're doing today. Okay, we're going back with the setting powder only because when I blend my contour, I usually have a ginormous mess on my face. So I just use setting powder to clean it up and make it sharp because that always does the trick. So yeah, I'm not going to be doing that on my forehead because what? Who does that? But I'm just going to do it on my cheekbones and my jawline. I'm taking my bronzing powder by New York Color and my bronzing brush by e.l.f. Cosmetics and just putting any bronzer where I put my contour just to even those two out. I'm going back in with my powder brush from Wet n Wild just to brush off all of the setting powder that I had from the contour. Now we're into my favorite part, which is putting on highlight. This highlight is from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. And I'm just going to be putting that on my cheekbones. And I just I just want you guys just to see that mini glow right there. And then I'm going to put that on my nose, the middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Okay, right here I'm going to take some random brow pencil and just outline my lips with it. And then shortly after, I'm going to outline my lips again with my lipstick from Revlon. It's called Cocolicious. And then in the middle of my lips, I'm going to put a nude lipstick from Ellen Tracy. And then I'm going to just blend that all. Obviously, we are done with the face, so I'm just going to take my Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray from Wet n Wild and drown myself in it and press it into my skin with my Beauty Blender. And then shortly after, I did forget to put highlight on my collarbone, only because when I have off-the-shoulder shirts, I like to put some type of highlight on my, on my collarbone just to let them know, yeah, bitch, we glowing even down here, you feel me? And then I'm going to take this lip gloss that I got from the beauty supply store and just put that on because you always have to seal the deal with lip gloss. Remember that.
there it's obvious that we are done with this look and here I am looking just B-O-M-B dot com. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please leave likes, comments, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.